Almost everyone knows the story of Mowgli, the boy raised by a bear and panther in the jungle. Disney made it into an adorable cartoon with talking animals. The reality for children being raised by animals, or feral, is not the same as Mowgli's story. Their stories are more tragic. I present to you five stories of feral children. Please excuse any mispronunciation. It is unknown where Victor came from or how long he lived alone in the woods. He was first spotted in 1797 in the woods near Avaron, France. After multiple failed attempts to capture him, Victor came to saint sernin sur rance on his own in 1800. He was assumed to be 12 years old, and the abundance of scars on him indicated that he had been living in the woods since a very young age. Victor was mute, refused to bathe or be touched, ignored human contact, and he often exploded into random violent outbursts. The years of his isolation allowed him to develop a remarkable form of selective hearing. He was able to ignore the sound of a pistol fired behind his head, but would perk up at the cracking of a walnut, which was his favorite food. Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard named Victor and worked with him for five years trying to teach him to speak and behave as a human. Eventually, Victor bathed and wore clothing. He began showing signs of empathy towards humans, and although he was never able to speak, he did understand basic questions and commands. Victor died at the age of 40. A Ukrainian child of three years of age in Novaya Blagoveschenka was left outside one night. For warmth, she crawled into the hovel where the dogs were sleeping. Her alcoholic parents did not bother to find her, and for nearly the next five years, the young girl would be raised by the dogs she found shelter with. Eventually, a neighbor called the authorities, and when they found her, she was seven and a half years old and acted as if she were a dog. Oksana Malaya could not talk and lacked basic human skills. She ran on all fours, barked, growled, slept on the floor, ate raw food off the floor, and cleaned herself as a dog would. She was put into a foster home for mentally disabled children in Barabol and underwent years of specialized therapy and education. Oksana eventually could speak fluently and intelligently and can now subdue her dog-like behavior. She is now able to live a normal human life. Ying Chade was playing in the forest in Mizoram with her cousin when they were both four years old. Both children went missing, but her cousin was found to be alive a couple days later. Despite search parties, Ing was never found. Travelers would talk about seeing a forest girl, but the villagers believed this to be nothing more than a myth because they could never find the girl. Then, 38 years later, Ing was found naked in a cemetery in the neighboring village of Myanmar. Incredibly, she had survived the whole time in the forest. She was reunited with her family in 2012, and she still lives with them today. Ing is very childlike and can only speak a dozen words. She has acclimated to life with humans well, as she has a sunny disposition and loves to roam around the village playing with children and enjoys getting dressed up. Ing never received any professional help, and it is unsure how she survived all of those years in the forest. In 1867, a group of hunters in the Bailan Shar district in India spied what they thought was a wild animal sleeping in the mouth of a cave. To their surprise, they realized it was a young boy of about six years old. The hunters decided to smoke out the cave to get the boy, and they were successful in capturing him. The hunters brought the little boy to the Sikandra Mission Orphanage in Arga, where he was named Dina Sanichar. Dina was raised by wolves but it was unclear how long he lived among them. He behaved just as a wolf would, walking on all fours, gnawing on bones, tearing clothing off, and eating raw meat off the ground. Eventually, the orphanage was able to get him to eat cooked food. The missionary spent several years trying to rehabilitate Dina. However, he never learned how to talk. Dina did pick up a smoking habit, and it is suggested that he was the inspiration for Mowgli's story in the Jungle Book. He died in 1895. Marie-Angélique Mémé Leblanc is the famous feral child of the 18th century. She had lived in the forest of France for 10 years, 
Often she is described as being 10 when found, but it is more likely that she was 19. When the villagers spotted her, they decided that they would capture her and did so on September of 1731. Marie showed signs of regression and being in a state of constant alertness. She was possibly a Native American of the Meswaki tribe that was brought to France as a slave or a servant for a woman. They arrived in France during the bubonic plague epidemic. Marie was able to escape the plague and take refuge in the forests. She is believed to have walked thousands of kilometers through the forests of the Kingdom of France before she was caught. Marie was able to learn how to read and write as an adult and recover the faculty of human speech after being mute for 10 years. During her life, she became a nun for a while, then was destitute, but rescued financially by the Queen of France and was relatively wealthy as shown by the inventory of goods that she owned. She died in Paris in 1775. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this list, don't forget to leave it a like. For more weird content, check out my channel. Sleep tight, friends.